Hi guys, it's True here to another episode of Independence Day. This is where I take a look at the weird and wonderful indie world on the Xbox Live Arcade players and on the Uya. This is a game called Delta. I'll just give you a warning from the screenshots. It looks like there's going to be a lot of flashing, colourful images on this, so probably wise of uh, epilepsy warning on this one. <laughs> it looks very, very colourful and uh, flashy. So let's have a go. For usual, we never know how long we've got on these games because it would have been a trial. For our version, um, one as well as two. Right, and dodge the squares. This is a very. This is a tactic to um, make the font shit, so. Right, so you've got to dodge these squares and you've got to... Fucking, it's getting frisky already. Dodge the squares and go through the triangles by the looks of it. Oh, shit in hell. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that is a terrible font. You can't even read it. I wonder if it's randomly generated, see if this is the same as before. I think you've got to fly through the triangles if, if at all possible. The, the controls are a little bit sluggish though, they're not. I think it is randomly generated. Ooh, yeah, I think the epilepsy one was quite justified. Yeah, it's definitely random because this is completely different. This is definitely fit inducing this. What? Next, 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 Bollocks, man. Oh, bollocks. So, we go. This is alright, this, you see. It's one of these games, very simple in principle, but highly playable. Uh, it's just that it had enough already, it starts spinning around as well. And so when you click the triangles, you fill that, um, that circular thing up at the top. I don't know what it does. Oh, fuck. Yeah, everything in the game is to set to distract you. Flashes, colours, flares. Does a good job at it as well. Right, so there we go. Uh, I couldn't even see that. I couldn't even see that coming. Gotta give people a fighting chance. Oh, it's green. It's orange is green. Uh. Your eyes just switch off, you can't register what's going on, it's just so changing in colours, just throw you off. The triangles get in the way as well, the triangles were in there, it'd be an awful lot easier. But that's the aim of the game, it's to put triangles and. I thought that was the way! <laughs> ah dear. Yeah, it's just there affairs when you think the solid object is the actual gap. <laughs> right, well, that, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of an ask to collect some of these triangles when you're going along at this bloody speed, man. <laughs> Visual overload this game. Yeah, them bits are them bits are horrible. You just can't see what you're doing. You come out of the flare of um, collecting all the triangles and then all of a sudden bang the walls upon you. Yeah, this is good. This, this is. 
Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't see that. I just could not see that at all. I mean, are the triangles actually anything? As it just, just a guide, basically, where you should be going, because th th that bar seems to be filling up regardless of if you cut these triangles or not. Yeah, it comes a nightmare bit. I mean, you got to a split second to bloody react. That wasn't too bad, that one. Not too bad at all. Yeah, best go ever that one. Oh shit, we'll, we'll leave it there if the time didn't expire soon. And there it is. Alright, guys, today's second off game called A Veil's Dungeon. Complete opposite to the first game. I think this is one of these dodgy games which nobody should buy, in my opinion. They're just, yeah, it's one of these games. <laughs> I got the point that out the characters and events in this video game are fictional, have no relation to persons living or dead. It's chapter three apparently, so there must be another two chapters of this um, on the um, bloody marketplace somewhere. Trapped in the evil lord dungeon, evil lord dungeon, she was rescued by her brother Eric in the Veil's dungeon too. Glad you pointed that out. Ang angry after suffering tortures of demonia, she decided to devote her life to eliminate the minions of evil lord. Of evil lord, it's called evil lord by becoming an experienced warrior priest like Athena in the Veil's dungeon one. Glad you pointed that out as well. Special attack, fire and ice. Is, you think he's get, wanting you to buy the other two episodes? Well, it's well drawn, I'll give him that. Very um, suggestive placement of the doorway. Got no interaction here at all. I've literally... No, no, none of the buttons do anything. Apart from Y, obviously, so I'm pressing Y. Again, no interaction on this screen other than X. And again, same here with Y. So, it's not very interactive at the moment. Right, now this is this is the most interaction I've had so far. Um, we've got doorway, we've got B, we'll go through the little blocky, blocky wall. 
Why don't it's too dark? You need to light the torch. Light the torch. Yeah, we'll press A and light the torch. Alright. Very little interaction in this game. Still. Go down the A. You need the rope. We won't go down the A. We'll go for the big doors in front of us with Y. Which opens, so we press Y again. And there we go, here's the first one. <laughs> Cause of the male dictation. I can't leave his temple. The only way is to defeat the goddess. Okay, we'll go B. And now there's no option to go back as well. We'll go Y, B, Y, Y. A little choice button to go Y. Another conduit to that, like the touch again. Y. It's fun, this, isn't it? Spikies. We'll go Y and see what happens. Game for a laugh here. Nothing happens, you just carry on, so pointless really. It all looks the same. Oh, why examine? That's new. You need a bomb to explode this wall. Well, we ain't got a bomb. So we'll go X. Too dark. I mean, it's well drawn, but where's the game? Where's the gameplay? It's just a case of... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Spear, fire spell, eyes, we'll go spear. Now, did she hit us or did I hit her? You will never defeat our goddess, you will become a slave. Finish her. Victory! <laughs> yeah, it's just walk around, nicely drawn still images until you find the scantily clad, scantily clad hentai kind of anime character. That's pretty much it, really. I do have a bow now. I have no sense of where I'm going here. It all looks the same. There's no feedback of where I'm, where I am. It's just one nondescript corridor after another. For all I know, this could be the same corridors that I've been through, and I'm walking around in circles. I mean, they probably are. Oh, we got an eye. Use the bow. We obviously need the bow to poke the eye out. Splat. Door is unlocked, so I will go through that door. Obviously, there's something there. Probably another bloody corridor. Light the torch. Oh, we've got a dimly lit corridor now. We'll go B for a bit of variety here. We're upside down, but we've got a bomb. We've got a bomb now. We needed that bomb to blow that crack in the wall, didn't we? Why are we upside down? And now we're the right way up. Awesome. Pointless. As is most of this game. Use the bomb. There we go, we're back here. Or is it maybe a different one? I have no bloody clue. Right, we used the bomb. We've still got a bomb as well, that's good, right? Oh, we've gone dark, right? At least we're getting some feedback now. We're getting um, different areas. It's a trap. Are you dead? I don't know, you tell me. Are you dead? Q naked lady. Yep, there we go. Giant naked lady. <laughs> you wait here with nothing to eat. After two days.
help us please, kill the goddess, you are our last hope. Take a look at the jewels, <laughs> go on then. Hey, what are you looking for? <laughs> yeah, this does, this does sum these games up entirely. There you go. <laughs> yeah. As it says there, three dollars to experience an epic in brackets and sexy adventure. Yeah. If that's what you think sexy is, you need to get out a bit more often. Right. Well, yeah, Avail's Dungeon, guys. Chapter 3, of course. There is other chapters to buy. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Keep your $3. Thanks for watching.